Welcome to Everyday Linux User. Today I'm going to show you how to get Android apps working with Ubuntu. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go to a web browser and we need to go to wadroid.id uh, so the application we're using is wadroid so the URL is wadroid.id and you can see it says uh, Wadroid is a container-based approach to boot a full Android system on a regular GNU Linux system like Ubuntu. So if we click on this install button up here, uh, what you need to do then is click on the docs and if you scroll down you can see there's instructions for all different types of operating systems and uh, we're going to do Ubuntu and uh, what we're going to do is control alt and T to open a terminal make it larger so that you can see what I'm doing and what we're going to do is copy that there and we're going to go back to the terminal and we're going to right click and paste enter your password and then we're going to go back here we're going to take the next command get back to the terminal, right click and paste again and this is uh, basically installing the Wadroid repo onto your machine so that you can download and install the Debian package for it and that's been done and now down here we've got the last command and that's going to install Wadroid so we're going to copy this, right click and paste And that's now done, so we can close that down and we can close this down. And what we can do is click on this icon here, and you can see there's Wadroid. So if I click that, you can see it's got this download button. So all we have to do is click download. But what you want to do is change from vanilla to G Apps, and that will give you the Google Play Store. So if you do that and then click download and it will start downloading all the things it needs to run Wadroid. Uh, this can take a little while so uh, I'll come back when it's finished. So you can see that's done now so we can click the done button and we're going to run Wadroid for the first time so if you click down here we are going to click this icon here. So here we are, uh, we're now inside the Wadroid. Uh, if we click on the Play Store you'll see that it says this device isn't play protected Google Apps and services cannot run on this device so even if you sign in uh, you're not going to be able to um, use the Play Store until we certify the device so what we need to do is we're going to come out of um, Wadroid completely and we're going to open up a web browser and so if you go to the Wadroid documentation uh, you, you can get it via this address here uh, you can also follow along with what I'm about to do uh, so if you open up a terminal control alt T and you run sudo Wadroid shell type in your password and then you take this command you can click the copy button here and you right click and paste again you'll see this long number here so what you want to do is you want to click on this link here and you need to log in to your account and what you need to do is go back to your terminal window copy this number and paste it into this box here 
you need to click I'm not a robot and then click register and now the device is registered this takes uh, about 5-10 minutes maybe a little bit longer to actually propagate so what you need to do is you need to reboot your Ubuntu um, in about 5-10 minutes time um, you can then go back into Waydroid and it should start working click on the sign in button enter your username and it has to be the same username that you use to uh, register your device incidentally you can minimize the keyboard by pressing the button in the bottom right hand corner now you have to enter your password you have to agree to terms and conditions just keep clicking the buttons as I am on the screen here and the Play Store should open without any errors now uh, it's a bit hit and miss what you can install so for instance I'm in the UK I've installed BBC iPlayer um, so that works okay I'll show you that in a minute um, ITVX player so it's good for playing uh, things like your local TV and streaming services uh, I tried Netflix and I'll show you that doesn't actually work on this device uh, I've tried Microsoft Word uh, it's going to be the mobile edition anyway uh, which is the same as using the online version I think um, but that requires a premium subscription so I haven't done that uh, things like Roblox aren't available so if I search for Roblox you can see this won't work for your device and um, that's one for another day I think um, but then if you wanted to use something like Minecraft uh, Minecraft is available it does cost money though you can install Minecraft natively to Linux so there's no need to use Waydroid for this uh, but there are other games as well I'm going to go here and I'll show you incidentally if you want to go right or left you can use the scroll wheel like that uh, so let's try a few of these things out so if I wanted BBC iPlayer for instance is a single click uh, you have to be in the UK to be able to use the iPlayer and you have to have a TV license but uh, there's no reason that's not going to work I mean the check for a TV license is merely have you got a TV license now I don't know if you use it in a different country whether it's going to have extra things extra checks like location checks uh, but I'm going to stop that now because I don't want to fall foul of copyright laws and you can just pop out like this uh, same with ITVX player that works okay as well but as I say Netflix if you click on Netflix you, say it's a, you can see it says this app is not compatible with this device and if you use Word, if I try and create a blank document, it says to browse offline photos and media, you'll need to allow access. I have done that. So, so you turn that on like that, and uh, you'll see that when I go back, it asks to go premium and I don't want to do that so if we go back out now it's worth noting that you get a keyboard I'll, I'll show you that and you can minimize the keyboard when you're entering text so that you don't have to see that all the time I've downloaded a game called Horizon Chase Now you want to go into controllers, hopefully it's going to let me do this. I 
I have connected a gamepad, but it's not picking it up. It's going to make things really awkward. Well, we try and play a game. I've got no way of steering apparently <laughs> so that's one for another day working out how to get the controllers to work with it but uh, the escape key seems to work to exit this game you can drag down from the top like that and then you can click on the button at the bottom. Now with uh, GNOME, if you're using this, now what you'll see is if you click on this button here, every app that you've got within Wadroid actually appears within the GNOME applications. Unfortunately, there is a bug at the moment that if you click any of these, it will just crash. Uh, so then uh, I found that the only way to get going again is to actually reboot. Uh, so I recommend not clicking these if you're using GNOME. Uh, just go into Wadroid. As with GNOME, what you could do if all these are taken up clutter as well, you can drag these together. And then it takes up less space and uh, so even though you can't click in any of those because it's not working at the moment you can always click away droid to get going again and that's really the end of the guide so you can get android apps working with ubuntu um, i'll leave it to you to experiment to see what does and what doesn't work uh, i'm also going to try this out on a kde based distro to see if clicking the icons becomes available for um, other desktops but for now, that's the end of the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.